I love being able to do these videos here at um, Guido Gardens with it being so beautiful. It's nice and green right now. A number of years ago, a friend of mine was listening to one of my uh, CDs on prayer and she was listening to it in her car with her granddaughter. And, and I said something about praying for 15 minutes and the granddaughter's eyes got real big and she said, pray for 15 minutes. How in the world can you do that? Great question. My statement was this, and if you've heard me preach, you've heard me say this before. Think of the last 15 minutes that you've spent in prayer. Three or four minutes here, four or five minutes here. Think of the last 15 minutes you spend in prayer. How much time did you do the talking? 14 minutes and 45 seconds, maybe? How much of the time did you do the talking when you were praying? I don't think God's interested in our advice. I think he's interested in us listening to him. Would you consider that when you pray? Don't be afraid to come to him and get on your knees or sit in your chair, however you like to pray, and just zip up your mouth and don't say anything until he shares with you what to pray about. Or go to him in prayer and when you're done and you say amen, stay there on your knees until he gives you permission to get up. I love the story of George Mueller in the late 1800s. You know how he used to pray? He would open up the Word of God and he would let the Word of God direct his prayers. He would read slowly until something impacted his heart and mind and that's what he would pray. I think we've done our children and grandchildren a disservice by them not seeing that we pray with our Bibles open. Let the Word of God direct the way you pray. It'll change your prayer life. Have a great day.